Hi, I'm Operations Manager Tony Bizzardo from the Radio Replacement Project. I just want to provide you with a bit of an update on the, uh, where the program is at at the moment. It's after an extensive consultation period and selection process, we uh, selected on the uh, Tate radios and we began to roll those out to brigades in December of 2010. Since that time, we've had quite a lot of feedback from the brigades uh, and that's been very helpful for us in developing and improving the performance of the radio. The most interest that has been raised and most common areas of feedback that brigades have provided has related to the low audibility level of the radio, uh, voice clarity within the radios, uh, a water, water shedding capability and accidental activation of the press to talk button and also an inability to be able to communicate at times over short distances. Now, these, uh, this feedback has related to the portable radios only, uh, not the mobiles. So, as a result of that feedback, we have conducted um, a lot of research uh, with engineers from uh, the radio, uh, from Tate radios and also uh, within the radio replacement team and also with quite a number of health and safety, safety representatives. We are commencing to uh, um, install the software upgrades in the portable radios and later in the year we will uh, have the new radio covers available which will overcome the watershedding capability issue. So um, I think it's important to remember as I said that the process we've been through will result in us having a, uh, a much better performing radio than, uh, than we have now even though the current radio is very satisfactory. G'day, my name's Rick Owen. I'm a senior station officer here at Dandenong Fire Brigade, and I'm also the health and safety representative. I've been involved in the trial of the Tate radios for the improvement and performance enhancements, and today I'll just give you a little rundown of what we've been through. One of the issues which was raised was low audio performance of the radios. During the trials we tested the radios with a new software enhancement and the tests were conducted around pumps, BAs, water, branches and just different scenarios which we would experience operationally just to ensure that these imp improvements have been made and were acceptable to us. Another issue which was identified was RF performance over short distances. Although the radio replacement team couldn't replicate these issues during testing, there have been some major enhancements to the radio to help uh, eliminate these issues. One of the issues identified that we may have opened the channel inadvertently without knowing. So now one of the improvements is the push to talk button when operated has an audible beep. So when it's fitted in our turnout gear or we are using it, we'll have an audible beep to know we have the channel open. It was reported during operations that the grill of the radio was holding water which caused the radio operation to be muffled. Incidentally the Motorola has also experienced this. One of the fixes was to blow air across the grill to remove the water. As you may be aware it may be hard to do operationally so the Tate engineers have actually engineered a new faceplate which we adapted to the unit. This faceplate was tested rigorously at set G during trials with the other HSRs in which we actually dunked the unit in water, applied it to a fog stream and actually stood under a water wall to saturate the unit. As a result of this trial we found that the radios performed exceptionally well. Finally, I'd just like to finish with, as one of the health and safety representatives involved in the trial enhancement project and along with the radio replacement team, it's been a very positive experience. The team has listened to our concerns and I think as a group we are satisfied that we've delivered a superior package than what we originally had.